Hey everyone, welcome to today's messy house cleaning. We have a huge mess to take care of and we're preparing for a birthday party. So we've got a lot to get squared away, organized, put back into place, got to do all the things. And I'm here to give you all the cleaning motivation. If you're new here, I'm Becca. I'm a mom to three and I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join the family. I do a long cleaning video every Monday and Friday. I always keep them jam packed with real life messes to give you the motivation that you need to get whatever mess you're tackling done. As always, we're gonna start off with laundry because as a mom of three, laundry is never ending. So there's always some type of laundry. My motto is to get it going, get working on it. If you wanna stay on top of laundry, that's just what you have to do. Try and do it in those little windows, little pockets of time throw in a load here and there, but we are going to start off in the entryway, get all of this stuff cleaned up, get everything out of here. A lot of my packages end up settling in the entryway because obviously they come to the front door, they come right in, I get a little too hasty and excited and I open them right there and just generally leave the stuff there for a little bit. So we're gonna get all this taken care of. Can't take a blow. I did get some packages for the laundry room, just a few odds and ends that I needed to add decor wise, and I'm super excited. I am almost done with the laundry room. I know it has taken me an eternity to do this room, but y'all know I'm a single mom. I'm doing the best that I can between doing my regular content and doing a project like that. It just takes so much time, but y'all, it's almost done, and I'm so excited to share it with you. I know you're gonna love it. It's just I'm so excited. So I've been ordering some odds and ends. I still have to go out and get like a few little knickknacks like type of things for the laundry room. But for the most part, I'm just about done and I could not be more ecstatic. I cannot wait for it to be completely 100% done and really to just be using the new laundry room again. It's Every time I complete a room, you, you guys who have been here for a while, you know I love to decorate and I love putting my own touches on things. And every time I complete a room, it's just such a satisfying feeling to have, to have it be exactly what you envisioned and what you wanted. There's just really no better feeling than that. So I'm so excited to share it. Always takes too long, yeah, too long. I ain't got all weekend. We had a good run, yeah, good run. But the clock is ticking. I gotta move on, yeah, move on. I got the if you've been here for a while, you know I bought this coffee table a while ago from either Home Goods or TJ Maxx. They still have them there all the time too. I love this coffee table, but when I bought it, it was a light color, but they didn't put like a protecting coat on it. And Chris really liked the idea of staining it a little darker, but now that he's not here anymore, I really think I'm gonna take this in the garage and sand it down, bring it back to like its natural state. So it's lighter again, and then go ahead and um, just put some poly on the top to protect it. Cause I feel like it's just, it's calling to be a little bit lighter. I don't know. I'm attracted lately to the really light natural tone colors of wood. So I'm thinking about trying to get that back to a lighter color. I just gotta be on my own. I've been loving you for too long. All these butterflies gotta go. I just gotta be on my own. I'm gonna take care of this back hallway because it is a complete disaster. I'm actually giving Chris the 
Bissell Cross Wave because I really love the other vac mop that I have, um, just a little bit more. Uh, the Bissell Cross Wave is still a great vac mop and it's, I would still suggest it. And it's cheaper than the other one that I have, but I like the other one better. So I'm gonna keep the newer one. I'm gonna give Chris the Bissell Cross Wave um, and it's been sitting here for a little while though. He needs to come and pick it up. <laughs> So it's not sitting here anymore, but I also just needed to get this area cleaned up because it's always a mess and there's always clutter everywhere. Before we move on, I'm gonna go ahead and switch the laundry. Like I said, there's a method to the madness with laundry. If you wanna stay on top of it, you just have to be more proactive of doing a little bit whenever you can. Uh, I try to do at least a load every other day, if not every day, especially when I'm already cleaning, might as well throw in one load and get it going. And that's kind of just the motto that I live by. I also live by the motto is as soon as a basket is full, I go ahead and toss that load in the wash. Um, I don't let it overflow and get out of control. I mean, every now and then I do, of course, I'm human, but for the most part, that's try what I try to do. And then the laundry never really feels super overwhelming in my house, even though when there's a lot of people living here, there's a, laundry, a lot of laundry being done, but I think there is a method to it. You either have to want to spend an entire day catching up on laundry and not do laundry the rest of the week or only do it like maybe a little bit the rest of the week, or you spend a little bit of time every other day to every day, staying on top of it. You kind of just have to choose what works best for you. Sweeter than summer wine, baby just hold me tight. Like a drug I am hooked on you. And that makes me say, oh man, you make it feel like paradise. God damn, I think I'm gonna lose my mind. Oh man, you make it feel like paradise. Paradise. I'm taking a mental picture in my mind just to keep this moment till the end of time. the kitchen which is also trashed I mean the whole downstairs of my house was trashed and I actually was doing this before my middle son's birthday party so it was time to get it all organized and taken care of before it got messy again from the birthday party because let's be honest we just clean it for parties like that just for it to get messy again <laughs> it's like the catch but it was a lot of fun the birthday party already happened but it was a lot of fun the kids had a blast they made a mess it is what it is that will actually be the next video the after party cleanup so you'll have to check back for that in a couple days i'm sure a lot of you will be excited to see that i know that some love when i put out videos like that that are a little different or you know stuff like that so if you like that type of content be sure to come back on friday for that video but yeah we're gonna get this place all organized put back together again i had my little like cooler bag thing because we had had a girls night and with some of the neighbors in the neighborhood. So we were kind of just like walking to each other's houses and stuff. And so I just put it in a little bag to take with me. It's easy to speak out about the way I live, but it's a 24 karat dream. No supermodel in my dirty jeans, but in my 24 inches heels. I am not pretending. I'm born like this, a game for the reckless. It's so extreme, and I don't really care. I don't really care, yeah. No, I don't really care. I don't really care, yeah. You're calling me a mad woman, mad woman, mad woman. Calling me a mad woman. 
mind, woman, mind, woman No, I don't really care, I don't really care, yeah Cause boy, it's none of your business If I'm a mad woman Moving on to the dishes and we are going to get the sink emptied once and for all just to get filled back again, up again. <laughs> but side note, I really need to start working with at least Grayson to start putting his dishes in the dishwasher. It's just for me, being that they're four and six, I just know that it's not going to get done right and I'm going to have to go back through and do it again anyways. Colby, my oldest, puts all of his dishes in the dishwasher. Um, he'll even come down some mornings and like, you know, he'll see dishes in the sink and he'll put everybody's dishes in the dishwasher. But he knows how to stack the dishwasher, whereas, you know, Grayson and Tristan have no idea. So, but Grayson's probably getting to that age where I can start to teach him and, you know, he can learn and everything. So it's about that time I'm starting to compile a list of chores for him to do like little odds and ends of like feeding the dog and getting the dog water or, you know little things like that so you will have to let me know in the comments down below if you have kids at like what age they were doing certain things like what were your kids doing at like four and six it's really easy for Colby because he can do some of the bigger jobs but with the younger ones it's always kind of like well what is age appropriate it's such a funny way to tell me what you search in life Well, I'm a mad woman, sorry I don't compromise Mad woman, mad woman Keep calling me a mad woman Boy, you tell me your business if I'm a mad woman Wait a second, I don't need you Then why so settled, I miss with you Still it feels just like I'm waiting for something better I had mentioned in one of my previous cleaning videos that I thought I was gonna do a health update on what was going on and all of that kind of stuff. I know I get a lot of questions on my other channel about like what's going on with my um, my CSF leak and all that kind of stuff. So, and I haven't really updated anybody recently. There was a few reasons why, but I am actually going to do a sit down video, which should be live tomorrow on my vlogging channel, just kind of talking about everything that is going on, the new things that have been happening, what's going to be happening, just to kind of give an update. I was going to add it into a vlog, but honestly, it's probably going to just be too long. So I'm just going to do just a single video. And then it just makes it easy for those of you who are curious and want to know and be like kept in the loop. It gives you the opportunity to go and just watch that. Or if you don't really care, which is fine, <laughs> no big deal. But if you don't, then you can kind of skip that one and just watch what you do enjoy. So, but I've gotten the question pretty frequently on what's going on with that. So I figured I would just let those of you who want to know, know. So expect that video to be out probably tomorrow. I will share the link to it on the community page on this page too. So uh, if you don't follow that channel, that's Sincerely Becca and it's just my vlogging channel. So if you like that type of content, be sure to follow over there as well.
to finish up the kitchen with a really good wipe down. I'm just using my Method Daily Granite Cleaner. Um, I use this all the time on the granite, in the bathrooms, in the kitchen, all of that. If the stove is really bad, I will go ahead and use my Magic Eraser. Mag <laughs> Words are hard. Magic Eraser. Um, sheets, which is basically just like a thin layer of a magic eraser. It, they're amazing. They're amazing. But thankfully the stove wasn't too bad. So I just gave it a quick wipe down and we're going to get this area all sanitized again and cleaned up. All right, friends, here are some after shots. Thank you so much for choosing to click on this video today. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with me today. I hope you got a ton of cleaning motivation from this video. If you need some more cleaning motivation, I always link my clean with me playlist down below. You can just run through that while you're cleaning. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week, a wonderful Monday, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Like I do under my tattoos, it's a remedy, remedy, remedy. Yeah.